Welcome to the channel. We just finished our first game and wanted to talk about what we had learned along the way so that you can learn from our mistakes and not repeat them. So here are the 10 things we wish we knew when we started. As our objective was to make a game and not an engine, with a degree of reluctance, we decided to check out Unity. We were astounded by how simple it was and how quickly we were able to get up and running with it. I mean, you do lose control of the rendering to some degree, but frankly, you know, to get to the business of making a game instead of an engine, it was a huge, huge gain. One of the issues we encountered early in the project was bad assets in asset packs. Many asset packs have good assets built for an older version of Unity, so the prefabs don't work right in your project on a newer version. For example, the cockpit we bought was really nice, but the prefab didn't rotate correctly. This cost us about a day of development that could have been avoided by building a new prefab and materials. So we came up with the concept of the staging project. It's easy to drop and drag assets from one project into another. So having a staging project where you place all your asset packs and move what you're using over to your project after you sanitized it, it will also keep your project from bloating due to sound files, textures, and other assets you aren't really using. Likely, you will only use part of an asset pack in your project, so there's no reason to import the whole thing. I personally had the vast majority of my programming experience in object-oriented programming. This led to many poor choices that needed to be fixed later as I better understood working with Unity. Primarily, I had to stop thinking about objects and classes and had to think of components instead. It was quite a shift for me, but one that was necessary given the way that the Unity engine is designed to work. Also, components with single purpose are readily reusable and keep your code leaner and easier to maintain. While we prefer integrated solutions, Collaborate just wasn't enough and performs poorly in most cases. While Unity is working on addressing this, till then we're, we're using Visual Studio Online. At one point, we had extra time and did an experiment that needed to be undone as it was going to cost too much time to fix. Without branching, there was no easy way to go back without losing all the work that you had done in the experiment. I mean, with a branch, we could have done the experiment in a branch and just not integrated it into the main version and just left it for later, you know, shelved it for later when we could have the time to make it work. The inspector is for more than just tweak variables can also be used to view the internal state of a component while it's running. This can be extremely useful when debugging, so whenever practical, make it visible in the inspector. Dots is the future of Unity development. While it's not full featured yet, it can be very useful in making certain areas of your code more efficient. For Galaxy Explorer, we didn't use ECS, but we heavily used the job system and burst compiler to get the maximum performance out of the procedural Galaxy system. For our next project, we will be switching as much as possible to ECS. That being said, though, it's important to build DOTS components in isolation and integrate them piece by piece. In trying to make the Galaxy ECS base, we ran into issues due to coding it completely and then trying to test it rather than building it component by component and system by system. Uh, 
as much as possible, add them one at a time. So if the whole game freezes or frame rate drops, you will have a very good idea what broke it. Rather than trying to figure out which of the 20 systems you wrote is the one that's offending. In order to achieve this, we will be using a sandbox project with a similar settings to the main project and develop each component and system in the sandbox before moving the code to the main project. This way, you have no issues if you have to delete and start over on some component or system. Marketing can't be started too early in the project. It's important that you be shooting progress videos and tech demo videos to build the momentum. It takes time to build an audience, so get started early. Even if it's not in, you know, super impressive form that you really want to show off. One should always keep in mind that this is a product to be sold and you should not be overly invested in playing it, especially after you put it into release. After testing is complete and you have your final release candidate, put it to bed and leave it there. If you play, you will find something to fix or change. Save it for 1.1, 2.0, or the next game. We're not suggesting that you don't enjoy the fruit of your labor, but be careful. You have the power to change it, and will be greatly tempted to do so, causing never done syndrome. Well, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Please like, comment, and subscribe.